Hey, Captain Matt, vote by our secret weapon here. And today I'm gonna give you some tips and secrets on getting your canvas cover off and on the boat in a much easier way. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna give you some specific things to think about as you're working with your cover to make it as easy as possible. Now, it's not gonna be an easy job, no matter what I share with you, but I'm gonna make it easier and get real close to easy. I've taken hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of covers on and off boats. Um, as a boat salesman, I was responsible for uncovering a boat and recovering it after I showed it. So in a single day, I may uncover 10 pontoons on a busy Saturday. Um, at a boat show, if we were in water, I would cover them when we, the night, uncover them for the day and recover them and that would be anywhere between five to 15 boats so i've got a lot of experience i've learned some tricks uh, that are going to help you so the first thing you want to think about and this is probably the most difficult situation where you're on a side dock and you only have one section to get to the boat that side is on the water the front's in the water the rear's in the water so I've got to be on the boat to make those work. Fortunately, we've got a small little front porch. And we've got a, a reasonable sized back porch like most pontoons do these days. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my decision. Do I want to roll front to back or back to front? Now, it's important that you remember this, and I'm going to encourage you to also mark your canvas cover um, front and back, port, starboard, left, right, however you want to do it. Um, put either a, you know, a colored tag on it, write it in big Sharpie, something that's gonna be really easy when this thing's all folded up uh, and maybe gets a little unwieldy. Try to make it as easy as possible on yourself with an easy marking so that you know. Uh, maybe port's red, starboard is green. That's the side that your navigation lights are on. That will help you become a better boater as well, knowing those and always remembering port's left, port's right, uh, or port's left, Port's red on the light, starboard is right, starboard is green on the light. So if I got that right, you know what I'm saying. So here I'm going to show you going front to back first, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do, all of the poles are out right now. We're going to start unsnapping as we go. Now this canvas cover has some snaps missing, uh, which may be your case as well. <laughs> and what we're going to do is we're just going to go bit by bit and we're going to uncover as far forward as we can reach, but we're rolling up just small sections at a time, about a foot and a half, maybe two feet. The stronger you are, the, the more kind of heft you can handle the wider you can go. I wouldn't go any wider than two, two and a half feet. Um, if you're, if you want it to be a little easier to manage, um, maybe roll it in foot sections. It'll be more rolling it up. And then you're just going to go half and half. Continue undoing the clips or the snaps. As you go you can see it's just a back and forth process and we're keeping this section nice and neat it's like you imagine at the end of this you want it like you were gonna roll up a sleeping bag kind of where you've got you've got a nice easy flat section to work with Just slowly working our way back, undoing the Velcro, undoing the snaps. This one has some clips on it, which is Harris's patented clips. You got to be a little bit gentle with those. Once you get the hang of it, they're pretty easy. So we're at the 
end now, so I'm at the back of the boat. This is where what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to get the back unclips and I'm going to use this as sort of a table to make the next step a little easier. So I'm going to go out and around so you can see better from one of the camera angles. <laughs> So we're going to undo all the clips. And now, this is the key step right here. You're going to break this into thirds and we're going to fold it together. This will help if you've got plastic clips like this. This is going to help um, keep them in better shape as well. So you're going to go a third and fold it in. Now those plastic clips are enclosed inside. We're going to take the next third and we're going to fold it in. So now we've got a nice manageable package. We're going to cut it in half. We're going to fold it. And now we've got a canvas cover that we can actually stow somewhere, carry it around. It's actually pretty, pretty neat. If you want to get a bag that you can put it in um, to, you know, Stow it somewhere. If you keep it on the boat, this will stow away nice and neat and easy. And if you look, the thing that's great about this is there's no clips, there's no snaps that are really sneaking out, except that one as I as I go to show it. But they're all pretty well tucked in. And so now I can put that canvas cover down and I'm ready to go. Now, this is the next thing. Once you've got it, what you need to do is say, all right, we've had a great day on the water. Now we got to put it back on. This is the part that you're really going to be cussing. So almost always, you're never going to know which way it is, right? So it's going to be all flipped around. This is where having the markings, rear, forward, port, starboard, is going to come in handy. So what we're going to do is, because we folded in thirds, we can easily see, if we've got it marked right, we can easily see, oh, okay, this is going to go this way, this is going to go this way, this one's not marked, but I can tell because I started from the back and I remembered that, and this is going to be marked back here for you, whether it's a tag or a color, um, and all I've got to do flip it around and now I'm good that's gonna save you that tip right there is gonna be the thing that really changes your relationship with your canvas cover you're gonna put it on your boat more often which means your boats gonna stay cleaner your upholstery is gonna last longer it's just you know you're gonna enjoy your boat more because it's in better condition you're not gonna have the spider poop and the dust and the pollen and the the leaves and the twigs and all the stuff that gets in your boat when the when your cover halfway falls out. Not to mention the rainwater, because I'm going to show you the poles. So depending on the type of poles that you actually have, they're going to be set at different heights. One of the best things you can do is to get, once you have your poles set, you know what height they're each going to be, is to go ahead and mark one, two, three, four, um, so that you know what spot they go into. When they're marked, it's not a matter of, oh crap, this pole's too short, I gotta adjust it, this one's too high, I gotta lower it. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna say, oh, I start ones in the front, two, three, four to the back, and I'm good to go. Or one, two, three, four, back to front. It's gonna make it easier when everything's marked. The canvas is marked, the poles are marked, and now all I gotta do is take my pole, and I'm just gonna set them right in the areas where I'm gonna need them. So now I'm gonna work, instead of front to back, I'm gonna work back to front, rolling it back out. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to do, because we have a water side here, is you're gonna to wanna to snap the water side first and then work to the dock side because I can't get to this any other way. So if I miss a snap, it's missed for good, you know, and that's how your canvas cover falls in. That's how a bird gets in and makes its nest. That's how, you know, it, it turns into a, a nightmare next time you're out of the boat. It's easier and faster when you're putting it away 
but it's gonna catch up with you and cause a problem down the line more than likely. So we're gonna go ahead and snap the backside. And I like to use the Velcro as kind of a temporary hold as I'm working my way up. It kind of keeps it from falling back in on itself. The poles help with that as well. You can see the pole isn't positioned perfectly, but it's getting us there. And I can always go back and readjust that pole as we go. As I go, I know I'm going to be able to step off the bow and get out of the boat. If I wasn't able to, I could work around the side and step off the side. Or if I'm on the trailer where you really are doing the whole thing from the boat, then you just work your way, you figure out the easiest place to get down, whether you have steps on your trailer up front or whether you're going to go down the, the back, you just work your way the opposite direction. So we're ready for another pull. And I really like, I really like the, the poles with the snaps on it and having a snap sewn into your cover. Um, any upholstery guy can do it. You can take your canvas to them and tell them where you want the pole set. Um, they can also replace any snaps or clips. Uh, you can get those from the dealer and they've got a little rivet gun that they can put those back on. If you take it to a good dealer that you've got a relationship, they may even just do it for free. Um, because they'll probably have that little snap tool that uh, you can put it on. A canvas guy may charge you a little bit, but having those in place um, is going to make this whole canvas thing a lot easier. So this can be challenging where I'm at right now, where this has a snap cover in the bow, which means that it's going to be real hard to get these final snaps on as I'm coming off this way. Had I known this, this isn't my boat. Um, my friend Bob that actually bought a boat for me in the past, very similar to this one, uh, allowed me to demonstrate on his here at his uh, lake place. and. Um, so I would have started in the bow and worked back because I've got a bigger platform and the platform is not covered in the back. But if you get in this situation, it's the only way to get off, you gotta make do.
Okay, so I've got my Sharpie, and I'm gonna go ahead and mark from the front, one, two, three, four, and I'm also, on the canvas, I'm gonna mark um, bow, stern, port, and starboard. So now, we've got the canvas cover off, our posts aren't perfectly situated. Um, what I'd like to do is get in there, make the adjustment to the posts, and then mark them. You may even tape them and make a mark on the spot in case they ever do get unadjusted. Um, they're just a, a simple release and they can move up and down. So if somebody's monkeying with them or if you've got to slide them in to get them to fit in your, your storage spaces, just go ahead and mark the line on there and you'll know exactly the height. So, And it'll be easier going forward. You'll notice I struggled with a few snaps up on the front. That's because the boat has hit something up front and it damaged those snaps. It's a real easy fix. Again, go to a dealer, go to a marine supply store, go to an upholstery person, and all that is is a little screw with a snap head on it. So you've got your, your snap on the, on the canvas side, which is the, the female end. You got your male end of the snap on the boat side. So just take a Phillips head screwdriver, undo it, and put a new one in. So even if you run it into a dock or do something on the trailer, who knows what happens, you can change those out real easy. They're super cheap. Um, and again, if you've got snaps or clips that are missing on the canvas, just call a custom canvas person and they'll fix you up. Take that canvas, load it up, take it to them, make it real easy. I'm not sure how long that took me in real time. I'll look at the footage and see, but I marked them all, sized them all, and now you can see when the rain comes, it's just going to flow all the way down. We've got it snapped on secure all the way around. And I can feel confident that when I come back to this boat tomorrow or a week from now or a month from now, that it's not going to be full of rain, that the cover is going to stay in good shape. You'll notice that um, the little vent cover is missing from that back one. That's one where, hey, I would go ahead and call the canvas guy and ask, can I bring this out to you? I know you're super busy this time of year, but what can I do to make it easy for you um, to fix this and squeeze it in? Uh, and what do you want for it? Be happy to pay you. This is part of a bonus video that I was creating for the best pontoon captain on the water. Uh, best pontoon captain on the water.com is the website. What I do is I go out on the water in this actual pontoon and I show you how to dock with confidence, how to anchor, how to handle rough water and operate in open water, how to pull water sports, no wake zones, all of the little things that you need to know to make yourself the best pontoon captain on the water. So instead of going out there and stumbling through like you've been doing the canvas for years maybe, <laughs> or months, or more than once, go ahead and invest a little bit of time, a little bit of money, get this program, I promise you, you're going to love it. I promise you, it'll make you a better pontoon boat captain, more confident, more relaxed, less stress. And that's what is going to make boating more fun. Remember, life truly is better on a boat. And now I've got my easy to manage bundle that I can put wherever I want. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this on the boat and I'm going to go have some fun. Let me know in the comments if you've got other tips and tricks for, for uh, Canvas. Um, if you're a Canvas guy, make a comment. Put your name, your phone number, and your website if you got one, and your area that you serve, and uh, hopefully you'll get some business. If you learned something, let me know how much time I saved you, how much less cussing you're doing when you're covering the boat back up. 